is some Roshidere drama. Not really any drama, but the English dub came out, and there's a lot of complaints about it. This is a uh, Roshidere English dub versus sub compilation of a three, like a four minute video. I want to check it out. Let's see how good or bad it could be. Starting off, trying to get Alia's line with the Ikemen, the most popular guy at school. The JP dub. Ooh, rejected. In Ooh. that case, might we at least exchange contact details for later? Hmm. What did you think about that? But the thing that I don't like about English dub is the fact that they feel like they're reading off a script and they're not emotionally charged as an English dub. But the Ikemen creepy senpai, you know, playboy voice, I think it was kind of there, right? It's supposed to be cringe. The character, what he's saying... Same with the Japanese line, he's supposed to be cringe. In that case, might we at least exchange contact details for later? Oh, let me be frank. I have absolutely zero interest in you. What do you think about Alia's performance there? To be honest, I think that the English dub of the senpai could have been even more gross and cringing. Be like, <laughs> Madame Fair Lady, perhaps can I get a crumb of your line message? He could have fucking gone super cringe and it would have even been way better. Alia's one, it's all right. It's just supposed to be like a dismissive girl. It's not interested, right? That details for later. Oh, let me be frank. Mm -hmm. I have absolutely zero interest in you. Okay. Oh, so to JP? So Oh. oh wait, one note. Your necklace is against school rules. Based off of this lines, it <sighs> she sounds like she needs a cough drop. <laughs> Low key. I kinda hear that grunginess in her voice. Let's listen to that again. I, I know what you're saying. Oh wait, one note. Your necklace is against school rules. It's not smooth for sure, but does that take away from what a role supposed to be? It's supposed to be like a cool, cold, dismissive Russian girl who's saying like, I'm not into you. By the way, your shit's on wrong. Let's hear more of it. Yes. I said good morning, Kuze. Late night with anime? Oh, hey. Good morning to you, Alia. Uh, yeah, you figured me out. Gomez. I'm indifferent about it. I don't hate it. I also don't love it. I, I like the Japanese dub. Of course, I'm always going to prefer Japanese dubs over English dub in anime that has a literal Japanese high school setting. It just makes more sense. But I don't think it's necessarily terrible. You think the English dub sounds like they're 50 years old and not 16? Let me hear that again. Maybe you got something over here. I said good morning, Kuze. Late night with anime? I said, good night, Kuze. Good morning, Kuze. Okay, okay. And then Kuze says, Oh, hey. Good morning to you, Alia. Uh, uh, yeah, you figured me out. I think that he's playing the role of, you know, the guy that got caught being a DJ in otaku and being like, oh, yeah, you got me. Uh oh. It's all right. It's all right. I must prefer Japanese dub, but this doesn't seem like impossible to hear. At least I don't feel like people should be hating on it so much with the clips that I've seen so far. <laughs> Okay. I take it all back. You're not insane. You are just plain stupid. You sure are in rare form today, aren't you? Milashka. Yeah. Milashka. Milashka. Did you just say something? Milashka. Yes, I did. I was remarking on how pathetic you look. Well, excuse me then. I like, um. Kuze's English voice actor makes it sound a little bit more deeper. I honestly think that Alia's voice actor for English is like pretty good. <laughs> so the more I hear it, the Japanese voice actor sounds like a high school girl, but the more I hear the English dub, it sounds like, you know, Hoyoverse? You know, like fucking Genshin Impact, Honkai Star L, the mommy types, and all the English voice actors like Kafka, they only know how to sound one way. It's always like, mm, let's go, mm, baby girl. Mm, yeah, do you need mommy? You know, it's just like, ugh, stop it, stop. What's with the fucking vocal fry? I get it, I get it. But like, 
Alia's like, you know, Japanese, I'm uh, sorry, English voice acting does make her sound much more mature. Honestly, sounds like a fucking dummy mommy type, like the English voice actors for, again, those like Hoyoverse content would be. <laughs> and it doesn't mean it's bad. It's just totally different from the Japanese dub where it's just like a high school girl versus a fucking MILF. Why are you sitting there calling me a cutie? I understood that, you know, both times. And the emotion from Kuze right there was pretty fucking good, right? It doesn't feel like he's reading off a script. Huh? Say, Kuze, you wouldn't mind grabbing one of the spare socks for my locker, would you? Oh, I wouldn't at all. You waking up early just to work? Hell must have frozen over. Wow, Alia, you really know how to make a guy feel nice. Honestly, I think Alia is fantastic for the English dub. Like, I think it's really good. At least to the English dub that I've heard so far. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I can't very well get it myself now that I've taken the wet one off. So get to work. Hayaku, uh, get to work. It worked, it works, it works. It's a thank you for grabbing my sock for me. It would be a nice little treat for you, right? <laughs> they didn't show the pussy scene. <laughs> well, probably just to be safe. Alright, let's hear what Yuki sounds like. Now we've heard Kuze and Ali as voice actors, and honestly, they're fantastic. I think that, like, um, Kuze sounds obviously older. Like, it's just a tone. The Japanese voice actors' tones, the pitch is higher. Kuze and Alia sounds deeper. Doesn't, doesn't mean it's bad. Alia's voice acting sounds more MILF, Dami Mami, again, like Kafka from Honkai Star L, those kind of archetypes. And Kuze, English voice acting, honestly, matches. I don't think he's cringe. I don't think he's reading off the script. I think there's emotion to those lines, that at least that the ones that I've heard so far in this video. Hold on. Since when are you two friends? Since we were kids. So hmm. a long time, I'd say. Okay, Yuki. Well, uh, I suppose some people might be into that sort of thing. So it's not a treat? Oh, no. It is. <laughs> Again, I think it's really good. Oh! I spoke too soon. I thought we were skipping the pussy scene. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, wait, what are you doing? But indeed, putting on your sock as you requested. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was that? Uh, uh. <laughs> you hear Kuzi in there? <laughs> uh, uh. That was just funny. That's uh, <laughs> just <a> big right? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh. I'm sorry for kicking you then. I do hope you're feeling better now. Um, I'm okay. Okay. I want to hear more Yuki. Masachika may seem lazy if you haven't known him for long, but believe it or not, he's capable of getting things done. I love Yuki's voice actor too. All three are solid. <laughs> now I wonder how many people are concerned more about the Russian pronunciation from the English voice actor and that's something I just can't discern because I don't speak Russian. An indirect guess? She's laid it on thick today. And that's pretty much it. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with the voice acting, right? I don't think I'm necessarily glazing or protecting the English voice actor. This is my first time hearing them. And we had a side-by-side -side comparison. I think that the pitch is overall lower, making them sound more mature than they are in the Japanese version. But my main concern is, are they reading off a script without any emotion put into the voice acting? And the answer is no. It feels like they genuinely care. And again, that's only episode one with three characters shown. Maybe there's other voice actors that's kind of, you know, uh, maybe bad. But if the main characters, Ali and Kuze and even Yuki are fine, I think that everything is pretty good.